Engaging stealth systems. Another amazing shot is like when you see the end of Mass Effect 2. I'm Somebody not gonna say what it is, but you people who played here, it, you definitely know what's going on. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. See, Nihilus, if you can't stay Nihilus with me, will everything will be ahead. awesome. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Well, guys, we officially can start the action once this cutscene ends. Everyone, I think it's time. I think uh, before we start the mission, I should probably, you know, take care of some of this stuff. I don't really get to see him that much. But anyway, oh, that's a beautiful view. Look at that. But anyway, time to. I guess it's really time to finally do this. I need to make sure I. I always like using my shotgun. What the hell are those? Gas bags. Don't worry, they're harmless. Well, that's good. Let's see, I think that there's, uh, if I'm correct, some secret items over here. Oh, yep, right there. Oh, I just remembered one thing I really do hate about, um... Uh, one thing I really do hate about playing this game brand new, like, uh, last time I played, I just opened up to our profile, I was just kicking ass, of course, because I have all the top stuff already, and I have, like, 1,000 medi gel, so I can just open anything I want, but now it's like, oh, well, that's sad, but anyway, no, and then it's, uh, God, where am I going with this? Well, now it's like I'm starting over from scratch, like, you know, it's strange doing a playthrough when you feel, like, so powerful and then you just start from nothing again. I mean, I'd say I'm generally good at this game, mostly because I have played it several times, so. Uh, remember that part I was talking about with Jenkins? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. He dies, which I think is kind of... Uh -oh. ah, I leveled up already, okay. Okay. There we go. And then poor Richard L. Jenkins. Clear. Young man. Just looks like he blinked a little bit. Poor guy. Red right for the shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> All right. Now it's time to get into the thick of it. Time to... If I'm correct, we're going to meet uh, Ashley Williams here soon. Now, for if I'm correct, for the time that this came out, these graphics were, like, fantastic, honestly. And I, and I think Bioware... Um, they don't always focus on graphics so much, but you know what? They do a good job with what they're, uh, what they give. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. Oh, hey, an upgrade kit. Awesome. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Thank you, Nihilus. So I decided to turn back on the, uh, subtitles, because I do not know if you people can even, um, hear that well. I hope you can. I'm gonna do charm. I'm going to do an Intimidate, and then I'm going to do a First Aid. Okay, and then I'm going to start working on the guns, because I need to really do that. But, see, Caden, you have two. Um, first Aid, I, we really need decryption. Like, it is a kind of a big thing here. So we can get the top stuff and everything. See, with this shotgun, when that's what you specialize in, because, you know, oh, no, not a gas bag. Oh, I love those things. Oh, uh, wait, if I'm 
Greg, the rocket one's gonna come up soon, and those guys are those guys are assholes because like they want good, Commander. Like they could kill you in just in a couple of shots, so. Ah, oh, these poor dead bodies. Let's see here. Oh wow, that was quick. So that, my friends, is Ashley Williams right there. Her and her rather famous Phoenix armor. She is a loved and hated character. Because... Oh, and this is important. Ooh. Poor cat. Uh, poor us. And poor Geth being controlled by the Reapers and such. Alright. Time to go save Ash. Well. Oh. There we go. Well, that was easy. Thanks for your help, Commander. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? They're Geth. I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. That's nice. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins. And the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. Move out. All right. See, it's interesting to have Ashley and um, Ashley and uh, everyone here, I guess. Because, uh, I'll, like, I, I guess I've always noticed there's been some sort of, uh, debate, I guess. Like, what do people like more? And as for me, I really like, uh, Ashley more than Kaden. And a lot of people don't agree with me on that, trust me. But, I don't know why, it's just been, um... Let's see here. I'll do assault rifles, okay. I, I think even though Ashley has a temper and an attitude in the game, I find her a lot more interesting than, um, I don't know, I found her a lot more interesting. Well, that's good. And let's see, do I have any? Nope, okay. Oh, good, I already got scorpion armor. Good, okay, there we go. But anyway, so... No, I've always found Ashley just a bit more interesting personality-wise. I know Caden made some wise jokes in the beginning, but I don't know. Ashley's just kind of always been it. Okay, I know some people are up here, so... Alright, I don't ha oh, I'm so not used to this. I'm used to having the thing heal me automatically. Can't wait till I get that upgrade, you know, so I don't have to heal myself. Let's see here. There we go. Oh man. Nope. Oh. 
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. I hope you guys are in, uh... Oh. Awesome. Anyway, hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm actually enjoying a nice pain sugar Dr. Pepper right now. So, uh, you know, to, I guess, take a drink with me for this uh, new series. Uh, I'm going to try to get more stuff out, of course, for the gameplay channel. Not, not only for my main channel, like I promised. Because I'm already working on, ironically, a Mass Effect theory at the moment. I'm also... Let's see what I got from here. Ooh. Awesome. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Ah, husks. Y you know, they, they kind of get... Oh, God. They're still alive. I don't know. They, they, they're they kind of like, of course, they're the grunt forces. But they don't... They aren't too intimidating, honestly. After the, um... Like, I feel like they're pretty intimidating in the first game. Because they have shields and stuff. And look how many hits they're taking. But, like, here. Let's see here. Let me throw this one. Like, I remember in the future games... All you had to do was, like, do a slam and then their bottom body explode. And I remember that was funny because Shepard was all like, they look more advanced than the older ones. I'm like, but they're easier to kill. Huh. I don't know, that's just what I noticed. I thought they looked easier to kill. Ah, here we go. Oh, and got two Medi Joe. Well, I might as well use one now. Let's see, since I know Ashley usually uses this stuff, I'll give her this guy right here. And, uh, well, she already has good enough armor. So do you. Alright, well, that's all we can gather from this place. Now, time to talk to the people. Um, that door, oh boy. It's closed. Security locks and gate. Let me just do this really quick, because I know if you can't open it for some reason, it, like,. It won't let you open it. At least that's what happened the first time. Other times I actually had Medi Joe to just open it willy nilly. So let's see. Okay, there we go. See, it took me a while to perfect that, but I finally got it. Humans, thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Doctor Manual. I feel like there's that's a pun. Maybe I'm not sure. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to oh, man. the camp. Manuel. Oh. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Why aren't you just a, a ball of sunshine happiness? I mean, I know I'm going to be preaching the same, but I won't be whining and being hopeless. I mean, I don't blame you, honestly. If you see what's in that, if you know what's coming, you'd probably be scared, but Shepard does something about it. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He could have been here. I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? I do. We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awaken the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. 
Yeah, I mean, we didn't unleash it. It's, it unleashed itself. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Huh. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Well, that's good enough Williams, for me. take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. <laughs> All right. Well, even though we know Manuel is right, he is acting a bit crazy about. But now it's time to get back to killing a bunch of Geth. 